thank the volunteers, the people that donated food when we made that call out yesterday for non-perishable foods. The support was overwhelming. Um, the warming centers, the good news is um, the number of people staying at the warming centers is going down. At the highest it was 1,000. Last night we were down to 850. Tonight we'll probably get even lower than that. We have 43 forestry crews clearing the wood around the wires or the, or the branches around the wires. We also have 20 crews on the road clearing the debris. We lost some feeder lines last night because of the snow, um, but the laterals are done. Approximately on the average day at Hydro, we get about 3,000 calls. Yesterday, we got 38,000 calls. I'm going to see a crew from Hamilton just after this press conference. And um, unfortunately, we got hit with about seven centimeters of snow. That doesn't make things any easier for us. There's 150 traffic signals that are still are not working. There's still about 1,000 residents from Toronto Community Housing that do not have power. Um, we still have two fire stations that do not have power. There was 1,712 vehicle runs, twice the normal volume yesterday. All our priority centers and police stations are open for people that need it. And that's pretty well the update um, for now. Thankfully, um, we haven't had any serious injuries. Um, there was a house fire last night. Thankfully, no one um, was injured or passed away in that house fire. We believe, and we can only uh, believe this for now, that it was caused by uh, candles. They left their house and uh, candles caused the fire. Outside of that, I will um, let Anthony Hinks speak.